Hey everyone, it's Bubba Kazoo 4041. Um, long time no see. I haven't posted a video in a while because I'm here at college again. So it's that time when I'm separated from my models. So I don't usually have a lot of model horse related news to share with you all. Um, hopefully, I will be getting model horses for Christmas this year. Hopefully, I did not ask for any last year. And, um, and I'll just do, I have two new models with me now that I've gotten while in school. So I'm just going to show those to you in this video. And, um, I'll try my best to get videos out when I'm home, um, for breaks and such. So I'm going to get started with the two models I got. They're both fall releases. Um, one was just two general dealers and then the other was a tractor supply special. So you probably already have an idea of who they both are, but I'm going to show you in detail and my opinions of them. So the first model we're going to start off with is probably the most anticipated model um, for the fall of 2017, and that is Marcus. So this is Marcus. Um, I got a Marcus because I there is a dealer um, about 10 minutes from me um, that has quite a few newly released briars, and... Um, which is really fortunate that they're near me while I'm in school. And so I already knew that, so when I saw that he was released, or, you know, like, not released, but when pictures of him leaked out, um, you know, about August-ish, sometime in August, um, I contacted this dealer to put one on uh, pre-order. And I'm glad that I did, because when I went to pick him up just about two weeks ago or so, um, he... They only got 12, you know, every store is only allowed 12 or 13 of them, and there was only 8 left to pick from, and if I had not pre-ordered him, they all were sold already. So it was quite a big clamor for people to get him. So I'm going to go ahead and show you him. Um, I love this mold. My overall opinion of him is I'm not very pleased with the quality control. Um, the other model that I got that I will show you in a second is kind of a lot better condition than him, which surprises me because of how popular this model was expected to be. You would think that they would put forth the effort to produce a good quality model, but even with all of his flaws, and I'm going to try to go in depth and show you, he was the best of the eight that were left, which is kind of sad. But, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you him. Um, so he is on the Shenandoah uh, mold with the free-flowing mane and tail version um, and he is a silver bay kind of thing. I'm not totally confident on my silvers but I don't feel okay. So he the first thing on his face is he has that mark right there above his blaze like that scratch which is pretty evident. Um, he has slight ear tip rubs his nose marking is completely smudged his little spot down there and his chin spot is pretty smudged yeah so that's the big things with his face um he has overspray one of the models that i saw had like half an inch of overspray on this side so you can see where it is there um on his mane a little bit but one of them was even worse he has kind of marks on his ears right there that you can see. Yep. Um, these white things here are marks. I cannot get those off. I did give him a bath after I opened him, as I do with all my models. Um, more shiny marks. Yeah, look at all the shiny marks on his shoulder right there. And all of that specky stuff right there on his barrel, that's all marks that I can't get off. More shiny marks on his barrel there. Look at that long shiny mark right there. Uh, more crap on his hip that I really can't get off. Um, there's like a mark scratches on the inside of his leg there. Um, and then on this side, you know, from this side he didn't look terrible in the box. Which is why, of course, when you choose him in the box, you can't take him out so you don't know what the other side looks like. But this side is pretty sad as well. Um, huge amount of shiny marks on his hip right there. Pretty big marks and shiny marks. Um, again, more shiny marks and just small little pinpoint dots all over him on this side. And um, unfortunately, he is missing paint as well. That huge hunk right there on his chest and some on his leg. 
like right there. You can kind of see it, that spot right there on his leg. That's also missing paint. So, I mean, that's really most of his flaws. His legs aren't too bad. His sock marking is pretty crisp down here. Um, I did notice he does have another scratch right there. Overall, not very pleased with the quality of this horse, so I think, and I maybe would be attached to him if he was in better condition, and I'm, when I go home in November for Thanksgiving break, I'm going to do my best to try to fix him, like get his shiny marks off as best I can, um, and maybe try to use acrylic paint to fill in what I can with his markings that he, you know, marks that he has, but I'm kind of doubtful that I will get him to a condition that I'm comfortable with, so he will probably end up being for sale, um, just to somebody who wants to use him as a shelf model, he'd be great as a conga edition, um, definitely could be recustomized, there's other ways he can go in, but for a shower like me, he really is not live show condition, unfortunately, so... That is him. I love the model itself. Just the one that I got was kind of the bad end of the draw, you know? So, and if I also have Vahana, which they would both show, their, I show both of mine kind of as like crosses. So they would both be showing in the same class and I feel like my Vahana would have a better chance of placing than him. And there will be other Marcuses as well, probably in better condition. So that's just my opinion of him. So then we'll go to the next model. Uh, this is a model that I literally just got yesterday. Um, I did check at the time that I got Marcus, but he wasn't in yet, and I just saw him in yesterday, and I'm pretty happy with what his condition is, so I'll show you him. So this is JC. Um, he was the Tractor Supply exclusive, along with Lakota, I think, but that I don't like the other mold for showing at all, so I like this guy. Um, very nice model, even though you would think that he'd be very plain because of his color, but I really like all those little tiny flea bites. Like, they're fair, they're really nicely done. They don't look really smudged or unrealistic at all. Um, so I'm just going to show you him. He does have just a couple flaws, but because of his color, where he's the gray and the white, and the, well, not really the white part, but the grays and the blacks, I can use acrylic paint and fill in fairly easily. Um, but yeah, so this is him. He has flea bites. I don't know if it, yeah, see. There are his flea bites. I really like it. It reminds me of, like, vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah. Um, I did notice he does have a shiny mark. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of his color. But there is a shiny mark on his hip, um, in this area. But I can use my, um, eraser to try to get it off, but it also isn't super noticeable because of his color. And then his biggest flaws that he has, really... Um, the other one that I chose between, this guy had darker leg point shading, and, um, his leg points are, like, pretty smooth. There's not any really dots or missing parts to them, and his tail shading was darker towards the end, so I liked that. Um, and, I mean, his hooves look okay. Like, maybe there's a spot there that I could touch up. Like, right there. But overall, um, and then this is his other side. I was really nervous for the other side, but again, he looks pretty good. I think that's a piece of hair on his tail. Um, he looks really pretty good. I don't see a lot of shiny marks on this side even. And he is a stallion, and he did have a Made in China sticker on the shading above his sheath right there, but it came off really easily with no residue, so that makes me happy. Um, I think the mane on this mold is actually really cute. And then his face is where his biggest problems are, so... On this side of his face, he's actually missing, yeah, like, he's missing some paint right there because there was, like, an extra piece of plastic that I kind of pulled off. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to fill that in with some gray and black paint, and he should look perfectly fine. And then there's, like, that point on his ear tip right there. Oh, it's gonna go out. Yeah, that point on his ear tip right there, and he just has a couple little small points around his forelock. And then he's missing two little gray dots, yeah, right above his eye right there. There's, like, two little gray dots that I can fill in with some gray paint. But that's pretty much it. I mean, this guy is really nice. This is the first on this mold for me. Um, and I have to say, I really like him. 
a lot. I don't like him as a quarter horse, but I am going to try a different breed combination for him and see how he does. But I just like the feeling of this mold and it just feels like it would be a horse that you would just go and see at any old barn. You know, like a thoroughbred or, you know, one of those types of horses that you would see at a just a lesson barn and he just feels familiar like that. So I really enjoy him. Um, but overall, I like this guy a lot better than Marcus just because of his condition. Um, so he's going to stay in my collection and hopefully show, and his name is going to be Drops of Jupiter. Um, Jupiter for short, probably, but his show name is going to be Drops of Jupiter after the song by Train. Um, and I really, really like him. So those are the two models that I have gotten so far. Again, not super happy with Marcus's condition, but what can you do? Um, I know that he's, you know, hot on the market, so I'll definitely be able to sell him easily. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope to have more videos out in the future when I'm home for a break and such. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye!